mothers for wanting to do something for themselves I think is very unfair and it's ridiculous. I feel like the fact that Lauren felt so bad about the fact that she was letting her family down by you know getting the surgery I think it's it a little bit. It is hot in here girl. Yeah it's very hot here in Tanzania. Okay. And we are anyway but yeah I think the whole thing is very much yeah it's very sad i feel like lauren should be able to do this and i feel like she is you know being a burden because like at this point lauren did something and she really really wanted to you know do like that mommy well mommy makeover that's what they're calling it it now she sacrifices so much just to be a mom every day. The fact that Lauren realized that he's so bugged out with kids that he can't even get a haircut. That's what she do does on a daily basis. Yeah. And you might not see it, but women go through so much being a mother. Yeah. And it's one of like I always say, you know, even though me personally I don't want kids right now, right. at least for the next couple of years, yeah. I always say the one of the greatest accomplishments or greatest accomplishments you could do in your life is to be a mother that yeah. raises good children. Yeah. Yeah. that go out into the world and, and touches God's people yeah, I and so. also spread goodness. I feel yeah. like that's the, one of the greatest honor, greatest honor you could have yeah. as, a, as a woman. For and the sure. greatest service you can give to this world, I think. The greatest service to raise a so. good human being, right. you know? And then also I feel like for a man, for him to provide a space for a woman where she could be her best self, where she could be feminine, where she could be loved, where she could be, you know. Where they can raise these children. Yeah, where she could be that's catered to. That's the greatest to, thing he can do. Yeah, and where he can provide a loving space for where Absolutely. he's not just providing financially, but he's providing emotionally, spiritually, yep. mentally, yeah. like also religion wise, like he's also a prayer warrior for her. We always talk about Absolutely. the praying mothers, the praying grandmothers. Yeah. Also having a praying man that prays over his family and guides them and protects them and who's Absolutely. present in the family. Absolutely. You know, when I think of alpha males, I think of LeBron James. I think of Russell Wilson. These are men who are loyal to their family. They're people who yeah. think about legacy, yeah. who are present with their children. Yeah. They don't so have that's their the greatest thing. The place. Exactly. But they so, honor the women in their lives. Exactly. And so they Lord, are yeah. strong for their children. Yeah. They, they are not afraid to be vulnerable. They're not afraid to be you know show emotion right but they are certainly leaders yeah you know so that's what yeah. an alpha male is it's not all this raw rock stuff you yeah. know what i'm saying so i feel like the fact that lauren had to feel guilty he's not doing his part completely as a spouse and then yeah. him also he just made it such a big deal her job is to look at the me and the children my thing is a woman can't really do that if she can't do it like at her highest level yeah. if she doesn't pour into herself because if she's pouring into all these other people who is she, who pours into her exactly who helps her she can't continue to pour 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 because yeah. at a point she's going to get so drained and bugged down that one day you're going to look up and you're going to be like what happened to my wife and what happened to your wife to him. is you're going to look up one day and be like well what happened to my wife well what happened to your wife is that you drained her yep. you got this woman pregnant mm -hmm. three times back to back to back in a, a matter of four or five years, mm -hmm. there ain't no way in hell I'm letting my man do that to me. But can you imagine having three kids back to back to back? When were y'all having sex? Was it when she was supposed to not be having sex? Like, how is she getting pregnant? Well, like, you trapped this woman and you want, you're mad that she want to get a breast lift? Because after, after the damage that you did when you couldn't pull out? Like, the audacity. But she also wants you know, children too. She's she always saying that because she thinks that Alex is going to leave or he's feeling worried. Oh, I'm so having, I'm baby having fever. Um, baby fever. I call I, bullshit. Because after having all that surgery, you want to go oh, now Lauren, and have saggy Lauren breasts again. Lauren doesn't know who she is yet. So she's, she's just confused. saying stuff. She's very confused. I mean, you saw how her mother has been. The and way she be twitching when her mama and her her husband are around. Uh, both of them. They might like, be one of the most, they might be up there with Jasmine and Gino. They just a little calmer. <laughs> I know, yeah. So, so that's my thing. I yeah. feel like women, it's important for us to pour into ourselves. That's why I love about Michelle Obama. Yeah. No matter if that man was about to be president, she did not give a damn. She yeah. was like, look, 
I am going to the gym. Yeah. I need time for myself. There was even a woman you said you babysat for where she said at least four or five hours a week or a day she has to be away from yeah, the family. Yeah, twice. And yeah. yeah, but she needed that time away. And women, right. we need that time. Like, it's not Just easy away being from a the kid. So I'll come in and I'll do the babysitting for her so she can go to the gym, she can go to the library, she can go have some lunch with her friends. Just do her own thing away from kids. Your life and her husband was out working, you know, yeah. working his job, and she was a stay-at-home mom. And so sometimes that's what you just have to do for yourself. It's so important not to lose that part of who you are. Because my thing is, it's, it's really ridiculous for you to sit down and say that a woman should only live for her man and her kids. Yeah. Because before her man and her kids, it was just her. Yeah. So, and remember, he actually believes it. Remember when he went to Israel mm -hmm. and left this woman at home? Remember? Yeah. And he was there with his friends and she was calling him and he wasn't answering the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alex, he, uh, uh, Alex. He, Alex, he is very, he can be he very himself.